Laser speckle. Now this is the, the big dirty word in, in, in the laser world, is, is laser speckle. And you see laughter, it's like, oh. Um, laser speckle, for those of you who are not familiar with it, is if I take a laser pointer, and I don't even have one here today, how embarrassing is that? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, first button. Oh, first button. There you go. You see how that shimmers? Yeah, around the perimeter especially. Okay, it shimmers. Right? In, in nature, uh, things don't shimmer like that. Okay? Maybe on butterfly wings or something like that. But, but not, um, it's not a natural thing and it's really uh, not, so, not such a good thing to, to, to do for viewing. The cause behind that is because lasers have this small angle and because they have this narrow bandwidth, the, the light interferes with itself, okay? Any defects on the surfaces of your optics, anything in the laser, um, you get new scatter points on the, on, that are formed that are called coherent, and they add as waves and troughs, okay? And you get basically brighter, a brighter band and a dark band, okay, next to each other. And it, and it varies, right, it moves, okay? Um, because, because it's sensitive to, to even air. Okay, any, any small temperature change in there. So it's a very subtle thing. So these good attributes that, that lasers have also bring this, this bad attribute of laser speckle. Now, now here's, the, here's the thing. White light systems have speckle too. Okay? So if anybody ever tells you we have a speckle-free system, you, know, you, can, you, can, you can tell them, oh, yeah, this guy told me. There is no such thing as a speckle-free system. Okay? So I'm not going to quote numbers because there's a, whole, there's a whole group of people that are trying to figure out actually how to measure it and have a standard result. You can't have a standard result either because it's, it's, it's dependent upon the situation. The key here is it has to be at acceptable levels, okay, where it's not detracting from the, from the picture. And in order to, to get to that point, it requires multiple techniques in your optical system to fix it, okay. Because we designed this projector from, from the beginning, we could factor in laser speckle from the beginning. So right from the lasers on through the system, we have about four or five techniques of getting rid of the laser speckle in the system. And, and one of the things that people are trying to do is, is stick fibers into existing projectors. Okay, it's the first thing, st stick a laser into an, existing, into an existing projector platform, right? So if you have a platform already built and designed and you're trying to wring as much money out of it, Gee, you know, if I could just stick a laser into it and, and say, well, well, I got a new laser projector system, the thing that they fall flat on is speckle. Okay, because you have to think about speckle from the beginning. So if you take an existing platform and, and, and use all the techniques that we're using to get rid of laser speckle so it's not visibly a problem, you're adding cost and you're adding complexity. And by the time you're done, you're going to wish you'd start from scratch. Okay, so. That's a real problem, and, and I think other folks haven't quite realized that yet, okay? Uh, but, but I think that, uh, some of them will soon. Um, so what kinds of things do you do? Well, the lasers are, are, are uh, narrow in, uh, in angle, so what do we do? We, we play some angular games and we vary the angle inside the projector, okay? And the same thing spatially, we move the laser light around spatially so it averages out with your eye. And we also turn it on and off really fast to get it to spread and wavelength a little bit. And we also rotate the polarization consistently. Basically, we're, we're, we're mushing light around all through the projector. Um, it's completely, uh, to, to a user, it's completely uh, you know, not noticeable. And it, uh, to, to an operator, it's not noticeable. It's, it's all functions that are designed into the projector. And the cool thing is designing it from, from the start you can, you can uh, double duty much of your optics. So for example, our polarization switcher is also a, a speckle reducer, okay? So we're getting multiple, multiple functions out of single components of optics. So things like having your glass, I, you know, this is, this, I find this one quite, quite counterintuitive, but we use the junkiest piece of glass we could possibly get away with in one of our uh, in one of our pieces, okay? So, you know, usually you're trying to make really tight tolerances and difficult, expensive things. In this case, we, we, please give me your rejects, okay? 
please give me the worst class you can possibly give me because that's what I want to use in my system. And you know, and it helps for laser spectrum. 